Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and taking a look at my buff of black powder. This was something that I did in collaboration with Slay XC2. Over on his channel he did a video where he invited 10 different Isaac YouTubers onto his video to each suggest an item that is underpowered or just a bad item to suggest a buff for it and I suggested black powder, an item that isn't typically thought of as one of the worst items in the game but an item that I think is pretty underpowered and really hard to actually utilize and just a lot of wasted potential for a really cool theming for an item. So I worked with a modder, Aeronaut, who's been on the channel before, the developer of Battle Fantasy, uh, to create a mod that implements my buff idea. So a big thank you to them for creating it so that I could showcase it on Slay's video as well as showcase it for you guys in this video today. So if you go and take a look at Slay's channel, the video for that should be out today, but this is my item here, Black Powder. So instead of dealing damage now, Black Powder will progressively slow down the movement speed of enemies that are walking on the pentagram, and once they've been slowed down for 2 seconds, it will instantly kill them, and if they're a boss, they'll take 30 damage. But if the pentagram is large enough, Satan's foot will stomp down on them, instantly killing every enemy in the pentagram, or dealing 120 damage to bosses. We're playing as Kane today so that we have a little bit more base speed so we can make a bigger pentagrams. But you can see that the pentagrams are just as they normally are, no, no different there. But you'll kind of see as we as we progress, as we go here, um, we'll start being able to see how exactly this works. So unfortunately on the cellar here, we do have some rooms that are a little bit harder to make this work in. Because we've got um, webbing that slows us down. But if we can manage to create one here, as we did here... You can see Big Horn comes in after a short amount of time and kills them. Now, this may seem quite strong to start with, but actually, it's not the easiest to make the most usage out of because the enemy has to be on it the entire time. If they move fast and don't get slowed down enough, they can manage to escape the ring, or if the pentagram fades out of time before they fully get slowed down, it will also not... Um not stomp on them but if you can manage to capture them in it and get them stomped it'll give you an instant kill but even if it doesn't being able to slow down the enemy significantly is a pretty good advantage because you can sort of use it as you can see here to start attacking and killing them which is really really nice um it makes it a little bit easier to sort of manage your enemies that chase you and I don't know, I just I think the theming of this is, is really, really cool. This is an idea that I've had for quite a long time for buffing this item. And it's really, really cool to see it come to fruition in the game and also to see it showcased in a Slay video. I mean, big thank you to Slay for uh, asking me to be on his video and... Uh, allowing me to showcase my idea. I actually suggested the idea of having a modder create my item, and I think he then went and suggested that idea to a few of the other people that are involved. So I think a few people ended up actually asking modders to create their idea and bring it to life, which is pretty cool. So here we've got the big old B-boy. If we can manage it, I'd like to create a big old pentagram that will uh, grab him. Now you can see one great thing about the bosses is because they stay in the pentagram, for a good amount of time. You can actually get them to get be hit multiple times. But if we can take out everything else, I want to try and get a stomp in here. That would be really, really nice. If we can get a stomp in here, that would be pretty badass. There you go. So that's, that's big enough to create a stomp now. Boom. There you go. Look at that. But, unfortunately, the boss was not in the radius at the time, so... There you go. Dude, boss, can you get in here? There you go, there you go, there you go. And stomp. Boom. And now that's that's the power that this can have. It's 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 really 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 good against bosses. From what I've found this is actually going to be my first like full run using this. I before I've only really just like tested it and made sure it all worked. But now we're actually going to be using it for a full run and seeing what we can get going on. A little bit less tier accuracy, but a tears up is not bad. Um, we'll keep on going down. We did lose some speed out of that though, which is unfortunate. We kind of want as much speed as we can possibly get for this. Um, but yeah, so I think in, in sort of some regular rooms, it's not going to be the most effective of items, but in others, it could be really, really good. So in a situation like this, I think my, my, my loss of speed has actually screwed me over there. Um, but in a situation like this, it'd be really good if we could manage to make the circle, but we're not quite at the level where we can make that circle yet, which is unfortunate. That was a really bad hit there. Um... So it kind of still is one of those items where speed is definitely going to be helpful, but even more helpful is flight. Being able to not have to deal with pits and rocks is huge for this item. So we really want to be trying to see if we can get flight at some point. We get the soybean here, which I think just like creates linger beans on killing stuff. What do you do? Oh, we don't really care for you, do we? What? I just want to check. What does it do against the flies here? Okay, it doesn't do anything, but if we release it, 
it kills it. So you can see the enemies that are like low enough HP, the hand won't even summon, it will just instantly kill them. Uh, but the low, uh, the higher HP enemies like these guys, you can see it'll grab at and kill. Ooh, we got ourselves a library here as well. Uh, what we got here? The cursed book. Um, no, thank you. That seems terrible. Um, on use makes a food collectible spawns a heart, spawns blue flies. Yeah, we'll take that. Seems decent. We'll grab at that. We get some hearts on occasion. It's not going to be great, but it's something. It's something. One moment. All right, let's keep this journey a going. Yeah, so far I'm really, really enjoying how this has turned out. Like I said, um, Aeronaut did an absolutely amazing job of this. But you can also see as well that with these fellas, not dying at all, but if we can manage to make a Satan foot, which I'm not quite sure if we've got the size for at the minute. No, we don't. If you can manage to make a Satan foot, it will kill anything. It don't matter what it is. It will kill them all. We've just about lost enough speed to make a Satan foot easily, which is a shame, really. Okay, this this accuracy from this salt item is uh, really causing me some problems right now. <laughs> Deliverance be damned. Let's do that there. Wow, that was a good amount of stuff out of that. Lovely to see. Lovely to see. Right, well, let's let like absolutely overkill this fly, shall we? Boom, bow. Yeah, so as you can see, that, that, that pentagram there wasn't quite big enough. It needs to be basically the full room to, um, to create a certain foot, which is a little bit hard to do. It's a little bit hard to do. I, I, I've noticed that 1.3, sort of 1.4 speed is where you want to be at for consistently making the Satan's foot. Also as well, obviously, you need a room that it's compatible with. Like some of these rooms like this, it's just not going to work in because you don't have flight. But like I said before, once you get flight, then it becomes a lot more viable that you can create some interesting, uh, some pretty interesting stuff and start making the Satan foot a little more regularly. But even with 1.0 speed, you can make the regular ones pretty easily. Oh, I've never seen these rat items in a regular room before. I've never seen them in a regular room before. Do you know what? I'm going to bomb some of these middle ones here just to give myself some more room to create a pentagram. There you go. Yes, look at that. He slows down all the way. Even though the uh, the actual Satan's little hand there, the, the, the big, big horn hand, wasn't what killed him. The slowdown is still super, super useful. Now, this, this item is definitely still a little bit gimmicky. It's not something you're going to want to use literally all the time. But when you can take advantage of it like that, it's actually pretty darn good. And as I said, for bosses especially, it's, it's, it's very, very nice. Get wrecked, boy. You can see, like, the hand can hit multiple times on bosses if they stay in the radius. you you got to get it pretty quickly on them. But you can do, like, nearly a full boss's health bar off of the back of just one usage of a pentagram there, which on, on some bosses isn't going to be super useful, um, but on others could be amazing. Especially bosses that move around a lot, you can kind of stop them from moving around and make it a little easier to manage. Okay, these crabs are uh, going to be very annoying, aren't they? Come on, crab boys, just die. Crab boys, you just don't know, no. Oh my god, these enemies. Man, who designed this? Why? I just have to wait patiently for it to finally decide it wants to attack me. Stop doing that. Get get up from out the ground, you coward. Ooh, so this, this is an interesting one here. Because what we can do is, we can create the circle preemptively... And then open it up and try and actually utilize it. It might be a little late. It depends on where they spawn, really. Unfortunately, they didn't exactly spawn in the most ideal location for us there. But you can get it going a little bit. And enemies that just, like, accidentally stumble into the circle, that's where it's great. Okay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not particularly liking the, uh, the bubbles here. The bubbles are, are getting on my nerves. But that's kind of nice. Let's try and actually stay alive here. We're actually struggling a little bit of a H HP here. But we do have the ability to work with our shop. Now, I'm curious. This enemy here circles around us. So if I put it in a pentagram, can I keep it in the pentagram? Yes, I can. <laughs> that's awesome. 
probably shouldn't have taken that rotten heart, but oh well. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping we can get flight going on here, because that's going to open things up wide for us and really allow us to take full advantage. But yeah, and another thing I kind of wanted to sort of make sure of with this version is I wanted it to be something that you actually want to use in the late game. I didn't want it to just be uh, something you use in the early game and that's it. And I think it's definitely more so like that now. There you go. Managed to slow that guy down a little bit there. I think I used my soybean and kind of pushed him out of the pentagram a little bit, which isn't ideal. Get out of here, you. And then, I don't know about you, this soul item is still screwing me over with the lack of accuracy. I'm not a massive fan of that. Ooh, the soul heart, though, is very, very useful right now. Okay, this is a good room. Rooms where enemies kind of spawn out of the way. Dude, you telefragged me there. Rooms where enemies kind of spawn out of the way. Hey, we got a Satan's Foot. Nice. So we, we can get one with this speed. It's just a little bit tricky. Yeah, I would have got a nice little one there without taking any damage, but that guy just, like, jumped up right in front of me. I think the large rooms are where it's going to be a bit easier as well. Yeah, rooms like this, I don't really need to be worrying about it. Obviously, in this episode, I'm going to be over-utilizing it um, and trying to just, like, use it wherever I can. Typically, on a normal run, you're probably not going to do that. You're probably going to use it in, like, boss rooms mostly, and then on certain specific rooms is how I imagine it. But that's still a hell of a lot more useful than it is in the vanilla game, because, like, I don't know how many people actually try to use black powder. The, I, I think, feel like the only runs I ever utilize black powder fully is when I have absolutely no damage. And when I have absolutely no damage, it's rare that I'm going to have the, the, the speed and stuff to make it work. So it's, it's just kind of a weird item. Ooh, 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 this is good. I mean, we already have a lot of money, so this isn't super useful. Oh my god, I got a health item there. That's very nice. Look at all this money. It just keeps coming. It just kept coming and coming, but we got a health item out of our book, which is pretty good. I wonder how rare that is then. I bet that's like a 10% chance, maybe. So this is obviously a room where it's just not going to work for us because these enemies are stuck at the sidelines. Also, I quite like this little, uh, these little fellas that I've got dashing around me here. They're kind of nice. Secret room there. I kind of had a feeling. Ooh, hello. I will take you. Thank you. I will take you. But I'm going to go and try and do the boss first here. See, now this is a room where flight would be ideal. But I can take out this enemy like that and just let him slowly perish. There you go. <laughs> Okay, what we got going on here? Mozzie is an interesting one. That cactus is actually doing us a good bit of work. Oh, that's a Satan's foot if I've ever seen one, baby. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. If you can make it work in the early game, my goodness. My goodness is it strong. Right, I think we can just skip to the next floor here. That's Satan's foot, but like I said, you've got to have the speed for it and the maneuverability in the room to make it happen. Unfortunately, we just got a massive speed increase, but it's not a permanent speed increase, which is slightly sad. Oh, that cactus just did a lot of good for us. We have finally increased our speed back to what it should be, though. Now, this this little this little fly dude needs to back off. Oh my god, they just keep healing him. Stop. <laughs> I'm not down for that. Dude, this, this goddamn snake guy keeps getting in my way when I'm trying to create my pentagrams. Back off. There you go, get crushed, my boy. Get crushed. The pentagram and that. It's beautiful, baby. It's beautiful. I'm wondering... So it's 120 damage... Um, for the, the big Satan's foot. I'm wondering when that'll stop insta-killing bosses or next to insta-killing them. I wonder when that'll, like, fall off a little bit. I'm guessing that'll be good, basically, up until Mum's foot, right? Really? Enemy flies? How dare you, game? How dare you? But yeah, I'm hoping I can get ourselves, like, Spirit of the Night from, uh, from our Devil Deal or something. That would be rather good. 
go. Our cactus are doing a decent job. Reaper bum's pretty good stuff. Our shops are pretty valuable to us right now, unfortunately. We did not get so lucky with this shop. You get in there, big boy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> you have been stomped. Bye-bye. We're zooming, we're zooming. But yeah, obviously as well, this is this mod is going to be publicly available for you guys to try out. And it is still a little bit of a work in progress. So there is going to be some balance things we change. So if people think that the, the Satan's foot stomp is too good or like the slowdown isn't quick enough. Or if there's any sort of balancing changes that people suggest that the people sort of can conclusively agree on, then it is stuff that we're willing to like tweak and change. I mean, at the end of the day, this is only a single item mod, but it's a pretty interesting one, I think. Yeah, I don't really know what the other reworks we're going to see are in the video. Obviously, the video's already out, so I can talk about the one I do know. I know that Slay picked um, Delirious, the active item, um, and did a mighty good job of it. His, his rework of Delirious is really, really cool, in my opinion. Get bombed, boy. Yeah, his, his rework is really, really cool. Basically, turns it from, like, a single room use thing to instead it summons a boss that lasts for, like, 60 seconds and constantly changes. And it's immune to contact damage, so it can't just, like, instantly get killed by running into a boss. Which is just, oh, so much better. So much better. Right. Unfortunately, we're getting a few rooms here where our pentagram isn't exactly super viable. All these rooms that have pits... Is where it becomes a little more difficult. Right. I think this next room, though, is going to be pretty good for it. Another HP up, baby. Oh, yes. We're going to have that sleepyhead transformation in no time. Now, this is a weird room for this. There's a lot going on in the middle. I'm going to see if I can, like, bomb some of it to clear some space. It means I can get in there and actually utilize it, but also... I just want to clear some space for creating a, a giant old pentagram, because this could be a fun one. Oh, man. Not quite, not quite. I know that I could just be killing these enemies, but I want to I want to get, like, a really good pentagram going in this room here. There's too much green shit. Is, is, it, is it not going to despawn? Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently that green stuff does not despawn. I know it does, it just takes a very, very long time. There you go, baby. Three, two, one, boom. Oh god, they lob their heads when they die. I forgot about that. Hey, <laughs> I love it. I love it. But you can see sort of what I mean by, like, if you had the speed or the flight to be able to just do that, that would be insane. The damage you could put out. There you go. Beautiful. Giving us all sorts of stuff there. Lovely. We've got plenty of health to work with right now, which is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, 1.31 speed is uh, it's a good amount for us here. Oh, oh, oh. You tried it. You tried it. Ah, of course the mushroom would blow up. I had a feeling it would. I had a feeling that was coming. You guys want to get in the circle. Boom, bow. And you, oh, ho, baby, we got all of them. I'll try uh, opening this up. Normally, these give you some hearts back, so. Wow, it's taking a lot to pay out. There you go. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't step over here if I were you. Oh, but you did. You fool. I also like it as well because it's it's kind of like it, it gives you the opportunity to like let some enemies be and deal with other stuff. Like you can basically lay down your pentagram and then let the other enemies kind of just chill. Oh, of course that rock slam absolutely wrecks me. Oh, damn. He is a... Uh... He, he, he took the slowdown for a long while there. Yeah, of course that rock slam didn't destroy that goddamn tinted rock, but did, like, everything next to it. Get slammed, my boy. We weren't quite able to make a pentagram big enough there, but we did get some slams on him, which is pretty good stuff. Good amount of extra damage. 
Okay, this this room's literally huge. I was trying to create a pentagram and I realized these enemies don't move. That doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Ooh, nice. Lots of heart varieties here for us. I just want a little bit more speed. Oh, ho, ho, man. The grab, it's just so satisfying when it happens. You just see this big old hand, this fist, come up, unearth, and destroy. Oh, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, dude, the, the little pentagram that I didn't even mean to create. The beauty of it. The beauty of it. Yeah, like, that enemy there was being a nuisance, but instead, I can just ignore him. I can just absolutely ignore him. I really, really like that. Deal with the other stuff in the room that's going on. You guys are not going to have a good time. Although, you, you kind of move quite fast, but the slowdown makes you easier to kill, though, so... Hazard. The slowdown makes you much, much easier to kill. But yeah, as for the question of the day, I'm kind of late coming to it, but other than the 10 that were suggested in Slay's video, what are some of the items that you want to see changed or buffed? Be interesting to know. Oh, dude. We have, we have huge speed while we're out of combat, so... That is not how I expected that to work. A Satan's foot... I think it's because there was any interactable it could hit. Is this a foot? No, this is not a foot situation. But that was still pretty good. Oh my lord. heart -shaped balloon. Oh, what a god tier item to get from one of those chests. Thank god I'm using my mod that adds actual item pools to those goddamn things. I like being able to, like, with these, be able to prep for the waves. You can't stop me now, baby. You can't stop me now. But you can see how, like, when we're at two speed, how insane this would be in regular rooms. I reckon when we get to the womb, it's going to be a little harder, because there's usually more detritus around, like, rocks and stuff, and you take more damage. Oh god, the poison. I was not paying attention to the poison. Ooh, now this. Oh, dude, you farted and, like, that was evil. I was like, this is going to be a great room for this. And then he farted and fucking knocked an enemy directly into me. That was evil. Do you know what? Screw you for doing that. You are going down, good sir. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get absolutely wrecked. That was really annoying, that. I was like, ooh, ooh, look at this. A perfect little position, and they farted and goddamn knocked the enemy directly into me. That was just rude. Unfortunately, a room like this, not the easiest to create a thingy in. It's not an easy room in general, this is. This is kind of an annoying room, this. Luckily, I've got these little wispy boys that are setting enemies on fire and stuff. They seem to be doing a very, very nice job. This is a really, really horrible room, I've got to say. I do not like it. Item room's gonna be... Piercing. I think I'll take piercing for a burn heart, thank you. That room over there. Hey, piercing's a speed up as well. I forgot about that, baby. Oh my god, yes. Get wrecked. Right as it timed out as well. I'm going to just sit back and let my demons do the do the hard work. Now, I, th I guess this is, that was an ambitious one. That was an ambitious one. I tried. That wasn't happening. Well, this is an annoying room. Don't lose the burn heart, please. Rotten heart, I'll take. I'm liking the rotten hearts right about now. Ah! Stay back, stay back. And I'll create one here. I'm probably not going to get too much use out of that, but hey-ho. Just a little preamble. 
just in case. Battery fella. Battery. That's why I did it. The chance at a breakfast item is uh, is unusually good with this book, so... And you guys are easy peasy. These are the perfect rooms where everything just spawns in the middle and then you can just sit back and shoot things. And it doesn't really matter whether you kill them first or um, or whether the, the, the pentagram kills them first because you're getting advantages out of it either way. You're getting the slowdown and stuff. Now, rooms like this. <laughs> this is where flight would be absolutely ideal. I'm gonna I'm gonna just try and create a little circle over here for the boss. That didn't create a circle, are you kidding me? Oh he's got he's got tar on the floor now. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a little bit of a nuisance, but the slowdown there is rather nice. Get a few slams on him. It helped in the end. It helped in the end. Hello, good fella. Anything that spawns in the middle of the room, perfect. Oh, he's, he's up against the cactus, yeah. The cactus plus the stomp. It's truly game over for you, good sir. It's truly game over. What is this? Single-use mirror-placed battery pickups with eternal hearts. Passively consumes eternal hearts in your health bar. Spawns an angel item based on how many eternal hearts are consumed. Best possible reward obtained when four uh, eternal hearts are stored. You probably shouldn't use this with four eternal hearts in a devil room. I didn't realise that was how that worked. My bad. What was that item called? <laughs> I forget what it was called. I want to use it. Okay, uh, that was not really what I was trying to do, if you couldn't tell. I thought I had to use it, and then it would start consuming Eternal Hearts. I didn't realize it was... Yeah, yeah, you, you get it. You get it. Oh my god, he survived the foot. He survived the foot. What the hell? What was that item called? One second. Okay, we got it back. We're going to actually try this out now, because I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I, I didn't realize how it worked, but I'm gonna give this guy this this item a go. Basically, mainly because I'm using the um, the balloon, which has a consistent way of giving us eternal hearts. So we get eternal hearts from batteries from the battery bum because it says batteries may turn to eternal hearts. Then we get them out of the balloon as well. So we're in a, a good position to fill this up. Oh hello, hello, good friends. There you go, baby. Get wrecked, boys, butcher! And, oh, I thought it was maybe going to get the little ones as well, but not quite. I love it. Spawn to Petrival, Shop and Keeper next to Isaac. Oh, interesting. <sighs> Wasn't expecting Tiny Planet here, but I shall take it. I guess I shall take it. A one cent tiny planet was, was not on the docket for today's episode, but it's here now. But yeah, I think even when you're extremely powerful... So before, when, when you got to the point where you were kind of powerful and could clear rooms fairly quickly, you just never ever intentionally used... Um, why did that not pick them up into my slot. I don't know. Um, you would never actually intentionally use black powder at that point, but I think now, especially on bosses, you're still going to want to use it intentionally, even if you're really strong. But yeah, and now I'm just kind of like, why not create one just in case, and then we'll see if an enemy rolls up and walks into it. A room like this is just... Oh, come on. That was evil. That was evil and you know it, game. Now, this guy... I'm curious about how this works. Oh, dude, it slowed down the little ghost. It tried to... Uh... <laughs> the little ghost, it tried to get to the lock and it couldn't get to it in time. That's so funny. Yeah, get gone. Good riddance. Wow. Great item for us here. 
Yeah, I don't know why we, we put two extra eternal hearts in this thing and it just was like, no. <laughs> I disagree. Ooh, 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 an interesting room here. Can we make a circle? Th this one's really awkward because making a circle is a genuine pain in the ass because of all the holes in the floor. I don't think this one's going to be plausible. As much as I'd like to. Lovely stuff. Consolation prize is pretty good stuff. Thank you. Oh, extra fire rate. I like it. Probably would have got range had we not had Tiny Planet come up. Even though I killed him, the slowdown was still there to help us out. Oh my. Good lord. Got a burn heart there as well. Hello again, good sir. Would you like to step into my web? Slowed him and killed him, baby. Ain't nothing he could do. Really, really enjoying this. Uh, start at the floor spawn at least three cards, runes, or pills on the previous floor. And pill. Oh, okay. Interesting. Potentially. Right, now this is where I'm, I'm very curious. How is this going to fare against Mum? Do you know what? Let, let me just quickly destroy that. I would like to get a Satan's Foot summoned if I can. Yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work. But I did, make, I did get some good damage out of it, though. I would have loved to have done Boss Rush here. Boss Rush would have been a pretty interesting one. Is there any way we can get into Boss Rush right now? Um, One second. All right, here we go. We're going to do Boss Rush because I want to. As you can see, I used Mama Mega to do it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do Boss Rush because I think it should be quite fun. Big room, bosses. Ooh, Celestial Crown's a fun one. We have good speed so we can... Create some reasonably sized pentagrams in here. Here comes the foot, baby. Although, it happened right as he was transitioning into the next size. So it didn't really do anything to him. What are you doing all the way out here, my guy? By the way, Celestial Crown with Tiny Planet is god tier good. One interesting thing we can do here is we can summon a pentagram before the bosses spawn. Okay, we've got to do this. So yeah, basically Celestial Crown, a bunch of different little things circle around us, and if we, our tears pass through them, we get various effects. Obviously, our tears can pass through them very, very easily right now. Pentagram, where are you? The floor tiles being slightly black is making this way harder than it has to be. Look, I love the way that the slowdown lingers on some of the bosses. I'm not quite sure why it does that, but I like it. Right, take care of you. Get that going, like, summon that right in the middle before the bosses spawn. And you see what you can do with it. Especially with Tiny Planet, this is really good because we don't actually need to aim with Tiny Planet, so making circles is good. Although him slowing me down, I have to I have to say, is very, very annoying right now. Oh, Reap Creep. Reap Creep. Couldn't even jump to the wall. Whoa! Whoa there, Reap Creep! <laughs> calm down, my boy. Calm down. Reap Creep had a really hard time there. That was weird. That was very strange. There you go. Are you are you on the cusp of that? Yes, you are. Satan's leg does about half your HP there. Beautiful. That cactus is in a really good spot, actually, as well. Do you want to step into my little pentagram here? 
Step into a world of pain. Oh, you do. You do. Oh, the slowdown, baby. The slowdown. You think you can strike me? There you go. The rat. Oh, the rat got double doinked there. He was not longed for this world. And you've managed to jump right into my trap as well. Although, I think he was mid-air when that hit there, so it didn't do any damage to him. I did very little, at least. Where are you jumping to now, big boy? Enemies, that, like, bosses that, like, move around and jump a lot. Especially jumping. Not quite as effective against those fellas. Treasure disc. Taking a lot of damage I shouldn't take right now, but oh well. If I could keep this treasure disc, that'd be great. Boom. You're dead. Dude, all the bosses have got immune phases that make them stop taking goddamn damage from this. This is evil. You two are rude. You need to stay in your circle. There you go. Where'd that brimstone come from? Was that you? That was you. That is perfect. Oh, Bighorn, hello. Hello, would you like to meet Bighorn, Bighorn? Maybe you would. Maybe you would. Where, where are you, Big Horn? I've kind of lost you. Ah, you're in a terrible spot. That's where you are. <laughs> now that's a perfect circle. That's like a max radius circle right there. insta killed a boss. Unfortunately, you're not so easy to kill... This is showcasing like a perfect use case here. Good damage. 120 damage. It's like most most basic bosses, that's gonna be like half its HP bar. At least. Beautiful. Oh, dude, you've managed to slide right into my trap there. That. Sometimes we create just these absolutely perfect pentagrams. That is one of them. That right there is one of them. Hello, heart. How are you? Hey, hey, heart. Are you are you gonna just run away from me? Yes, you are. Okay, that's no fun. I can't circle around you this way, you little biatch. Let me circle you. Instead, you just get deaded. There you go. I love the way that it slows like really fast enemies like down to a crawl. It looks like they're going to escape. It looks like they're just going to make it out of the radius and then they don't. <laughs> and then all hope is lost. There you go, baby. That was a really fun boss rush, i got to say. That was a really, really fun boss rush. Where the hell's the exit door? Excuse me? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, there's no exit? Okay, here we go. That was really fun. We're still sitting at 1.5 speed. Sadly, we didn't get the flight we were hoping for. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. This room with Tiny Planet is uh, kind of gross. Hello, good sir. Bye bye. It's just so beautiful to watch. It's just so beautiful. 
creating that just the right size pentagram to absolutely demolish. It takes the right sort of room, it takes the right sort of enemy, but if you can make it work, boy does it feel good to see. Like, this is a great room for it. Not great enemies for it, though, unfortunately. Another Eternal Heart. Hey, we finally filled it another one. A lot of money here we don't particularly need, but thank you. Managed to open that door there with something. I got a bit too much money here. Honestly, like the knockout drops and stuff are making it a little harder than it has to be. Because <laughs> the enemies are just like getting knocked all over the place. Like, it, now in most rooms, I'm just doing circles, even if it's not super valuable to, just to keep in the rhythm of doing it. Like, this room's just not even worth trying. There's too much going on. Oh, hello. Nice little heart there. We're getting a good amount of HP back. Ow. Random explosions aren't ideal either. My little heart balloons popping. Guys, 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 guys. Tiny Planet's both a blessing and a curse, because now we don't have to aim, but it is knocking enemies all over the goddamn shop in ways I cannot predict, which is making things a lot, a lot harder than they have to be. Another Eternal Heart there. That's going to be the coin one again, isn't it? It is, goddammit. I do not need the coins, thank you. There you go, certain thank you. Oh, you're going to roll at me, are you? Well, roll into my cactus and taste Satan's foot. You big, big fool. Oh, hello. It's a lot of friends. Right, can we move all this crap out of the way, please? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Like, honestly, Aeronaut did such an amazing job with it. Such an amazing job. Right, let's keep on going. We've got one more Eternal Heart to, uh, to, to grab to make the most out of this active item. Oh man, that instantly froze them all there. Boom. Unfortunately, two-phase enemies are a bit of a downside with this. Ah, that would have been an Eternal Heart, but it spawned as a goddamn Ghost Heart instead. Yeah, don't come over this side of the room, otherwise you will taste death. I was about to say it looks like we're going the right way, and then this. Where is the right way? Planetarium disc, I'll pop that. Firing a good amount of tea as it seems. It just creates like a whole area in the middle of the room that they, they're going to have trouble accessing, which helps us a lot. Come near the middle of the room and you get slowed down until you die. Small rock. Hello. Should we keep getting the eternal heart proc with um with our heart shaped balloon? But because we've got so many alternate types of hearts, they keep spawning in as not eternal hearts, which is not the most valuable for us, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I have 
absolutely no idea where the hell we're going right now. Throw us that guy. Got a secret room as well. Grants treasure rooms and shops and womb cathedral and shawls. That's kind of interesting. Spawns two cards. Double strength. Oh, it literally just gives us all the trinkets that do that, I see. Dude, where? Where on earth are we going? Not having mapping is probably the most disgusting thing that can happen to you in Isaac. It's awful. Dude, we got another Eternal Heart proc that wasn't an Eternal Heart. This is evil. Just give me the goddamn Eternal Heart. Ooh, hello, room. I like the idea of you. Would you like to bounce around into my unholy sanctum? Right, this has got to be on the path the right way. No, this is another dead end. Oh my god. That's very good for us. Seriously, screw this game. <laughs> What the... What the hell? I genuinely have no idea where I'm meant to be going. Go this way? Okay, apparently I haven't been this way. Multidimensional baby is helping out a lot. There you go, baby. Finally, right. Ooh. It's a rotating item. I think I'll take the butterfly, thank you. Nice. I mean, that's... I expected it to be two or three items rather than just one that rotates, but I suppose that's pretty decent. But for four eternal hearts, considering I have an item that gives us more and we haven't had any via battery spawns, it's not ideal. It's not quite a Satan's foot size pentagram, that, sadly. But it, it got the job done. It got the job done. Now, if you go to the Satan, if you actually go to the Satan fight, this Satan's foot part of the uh, item will not work. Satan cannot stomp himself. Which Aeronaut put in as a little extra detail, which I think is just really cool. Didn't have to do that. I didn't ask him to do that. I just think it's cool. Another eternal heart. Thank you. Honestly, heart shit balloon is absolutely disgusting in how much HP it can give you. But yeah, I think now, sort of, you can see how, like, now we've got a pretty powerful run to the point where making the pentagrams, you can do it, but it's not super useful. But on bosses, it still is really, really advantageous. Especially as an opener. You might not be, you might not be able to make, like, multiple pentagrams throughout the fight, but just, like, one pentagram as an opener to the fight, still very, very useful. Which is one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure, even if you have a strong run, that it isn't completely obsolete. I, I, but I also wanted to make sure it's not overpowered, which is why it went from quality 1 to quality 2, not like straight to quality 3 or 4. It's still not an insane item. It's still, like, gimmicky, and it's a little bit difficult to work around in certain scenarios. But even just stuff like that, look, we just killed all of those, um, all of those little spewer guys in the middle. And another thing that's really good about it as well is because the Satan's foot like instantly kills stuff and so does the little hand. If you go down to like the uh, descent and you're facing up against those really, really tanky enemies, it'll insta kill those just fine. That should be a Satan worthy one. That it is. Lovely. That's about 25% of his health or more gone. Whack another one of those on him. There you go. He's almost dead. Two Satan's foots. And the guy's almost dead. Mm. 
Beautiful stuff. Helped us out on that fight immensely. Blue baby fight is going to be really, really good for as well. I mean, to be fair, this floor in general is going to be really good for because we're going to be able to see a lot of bosses that it'll work on. Mega Satan, I don't, I don't suppose it'd be great on Mega Satan. Although it'd be good for the spawns, I guess. We'll give it a go. So just a little one in the middle here, if it'll let me summon it. There you go. Just a little one in the middle here, just to, if anything comes in the middle, slow it down a little bit. It's not going to do a lot for us, but it wasn't that dangerous to make. You just got to sort of weigh up the, the, the sort of danger of making the, the, the pentagram versus how much it's going to do for you. Whereas before, like pre-buff, that was a much harder decision to make. I think it was like one of those decisions that just like wasn't really worth weighing up because the damage it's going to do... By the time you, you've made it, you could have just killed them. Whereas now, it gives you a bit of safety, it gives you a bit of damage, and as on most enemies, regular enemies, it's going to be an insta-kill, so... I think it's worth doing. Like, even these Death Skulls, look. These Death Skulls kills them. They're dead. Enemies you can't normally kill. It kills them. Rooms like this, however, not quite as useful. I'm still going to try and make one, though. Yeah, there you go. I absolutely despise this boss. There you go, he's gone. Are we done here? No. What's, what's happening exactly? Oh, it's you. It's you that's doing this. These ghost fellas. Annoying. You do not need more money, game. Oh, that guy wasn't actually dead. How did I manage to walk past that soul hat that many times? Get a Satan's foot, it'll kill all of these guys. Boom. Dead. Get him out of the way. Get him out of my life. I love that. Annoying enemies, be gone. Did I just kill the boss? Like, oh, the boss jumped into my goddamn cactus. I wondered why he died instantly. The cactus does such good contact damage. Tammy's head is uh, it's doing a real good job for us right now. Pop up with Tommy's head. Oh, that and the cactus are actually doing work right now. <sighs> Anzus is va very, very nice. Saves us a bit of back and forth here. Ooh, wow. That box of electricity item we just got. Clearly doing some cool stuff. Although not in this room, apparently. I don't know why it procced so much in that last room. Little circle there. Keep this guy off my tail. And we are up against the boss, pretty much. Boss time it is, baby. Get in the circle, you. Satan has words. He managed to evade that then. Ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm just missing it. There you go. This little creeps fast. Get in the circle and stay there. He's got some speed on his side. Right. 
I think, but I think Blue Baby might be immune, you know. Interesting. Right, okay, we're gonna go and try and do Mega Satan now as well, because why not? Why on earth not? Don't know why I picked up that key. Don't exactly need it, but I'll take the health though. The health is pretty useful. Mega Satan, what are you? Is it this room here? Yeah, there you go. Right, let's give it a go. Stay still. Well, you may have a pentagram, but I have your son. Pentagram v pentagram. Probably won't be good for the boss himself, but when he starts summoning stuff, it'll get much better. Like this. Bazaar. Let it happen. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, it's not quite big enough for the Satan's foot. To be fair, I don't know if the Satan's foot will work on Mega Satan. It might not. He might have also coded it to not work on Mega Satan, which would also make an equal amount of sense, I feel like. Oh, I'm just... Just out of the radius for making a thingy one here. I'm trying my best to make a big old pentagram, but just a little bit off. I'm liking the fact that we've got Tammy's head and it's recharging every now and again, though. That is very, very nice. Beautiful. You see how that one hit him twice? Good, good, good. Take it all out. There's so many red hearts about. Nice. Filled up that very nicely. Chill yourself, fellas. Chill yourself. Okay, we got him halfway. That's a big old brimstone. You summon from a pentagram, do you? Well, guess what? I can summon my own things from pentagrams. Upon spawning, this guy's already in a pentagram. Awesome. He's dead. I don't know what mod they're from, to be honest. I probably should be using my bombs more often. I got some good ones. These fellas are just fodder. There you go. Next phase. Away we go. Now, can I can I swiftly, swiftly get a pentagram? Right, yeah. Okay. I don't know if that'll actually hit him or not, but I'm, I'm curious. I think he I think he took too long to spawn for this to actually count, you know. I'm gonna try again. Will this hit him? I think it is slowing him, movement speed wise. Kind of hard to tell. I don't know how I'm still on such high health, by the way. I've just been tanking these hits. Like, not giving a single damn. There's just hearts everywhere, by the looks of it. I feel like I've been like, basically the same health the entire fight. Well, here we go. We are pretty much done now. I think this is a really cool showcase of uh, of my idea for reworking Black Powder. Again, thank you to Aeronaut for creating the mod, and a massive thank you to SlayXE2 for showcasing it. We're going to leave the run there, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to download the mod, check the description, and check out Slay's video as well to see what everyone else came up with for their buff suggestions, as well as their attached mods if they have one. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.